My sled still says it's warming up. It's been running for 15 minutes. All right. Let's go see what these uh, boys are up to. For once, I'm actually ready and I have gas and oil in the sled. Morning, Jesse. What's going on? I'm cold. Yeah, no kidding. It's minus 30. Are you going to stay inside today? Yeah, I, your knickknacks or are we going riding? Maybe I should just stay home and have some hot chocolate and peppermint schnapps. What I wanted to say to him is not really appropriate for the camera, so I'm going to hold my tongue. Um, You're, you've got icicles already on your uh, on your facial hair. Yeah, it doesn't. That's like when we were in Quebec. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me at all. Minus what is it? A bomb? E minus thirty two this morning. Yep. All right, boys are over here. Morning, Rich. Say hello. Hey, brother. All set. It'll be a good day today, bud. I think so. I'm Maybe excited. Fifty kilometer day. I believe we got ahead of us. I am excited. Yep. Yep, man. I gotta get my helmet cord. I don't know what I do with it. Okay. Like for once, I've actually got my stuff together this morning, which is pretty awesome. A couple Gatorades. Gonna try this handlebar bag. Hopefully, it works and keeps this uh, Gatorade unfrozen. I'll stick my wallet in there. Yeah, yeah, it's on. It's blue. You're good. My sled still says it's warming up. It's been running for 15 minutes. That's how cold it is out here. Holy jeez. Let's plug in the phone, see if everything's working. Probably not. Cool, BRP Go is working. Awesome. Little smaller than the Polaris, but it works. <laughs> That's nice having the pole in there like that. And it's good because it's heated too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got a pair of our cardos, bud. Okay. Let's pair our cardos. Yes, let's go, bro. Shit is working today, dude. What is going on? Never in my life have I had a day where any of the technology works. It's it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. It's crazy, but that's awesome. So what's the plan? Okay, I'm good. And now what, we're starting to head back? Yeah, right. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> it's already one? Jeez, man. Time flies when you're having fun. We gotta get some pictures of the slides today. When we, we stop at lunch, we'll do it. Lunch? We pass lunch. We're gonna stop in, in Havelock, we'll get gas, and then we'll fill up gas again at the first station. Okay. Welcome back to the trail, guys having a beautiful Saturday ride here we're uh, we left Jesse's cottage this morning around nine o'clock and we're heading to well we headed over to Budley so through the Ganaraska forest again and now we're uh, on our way to Havelock so we're just on the E108 trail conditions are pretty good a couple sections back there not so great but uh, for the most part I would say 90% of our ride you know, thus far it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, um, has been really good. And uh, got Rich in front of me here on the Polaris. We just did some swapping around. I got to try his new XCR, absolutely beautiful sled. Um, as you guys know, if you watched the previous video when I uh, got on Danny's new VR1, I'm really, really loving these new Polarises. I think they're uh, they're great sleds, and Rich's uh, XCR is gorgeous. So same thing, basically. I'm learning the Polaris stuff now. 
basically the same thing as the VR1, just a little bit stiffer for sure, and you notice it. Um, definitely like over the bumps, it's uh, it's stiffer. Just gonna stop here quickly. Make sure this is done up, and we're good. So yeah, absolutely loving the Polaris sleds, guys. They're uh, the VR1s, the the XCR are both fantastic sleds. They're all good. Definitely all good. So we're going to make our way to E107. If you're kind of riding up and around the Havlock area, definitely recommend try the uh, 600 series trails. Basically try and stay off the main drag, right? The E108. So... It's uh, obviously the main trail gets pretty junked out right now. But the 600 series trails were all good. Even inside the Ganaraska Forest was really good. We do some of those offshoot trails. Jesse took us on a, a great adventure just off of the beaten path. Again, off the E108, right? Running all those side trails through the uh, Ganaraska Forest, and it was awesome. There are the boys up there in front of me. Just hang it back a bit so I don't get the dust in the GoPro. Woo. Just riding the uh, 850 today, giving the mock a bit of a break. I've put most of my kilometers this year so far on the mock, and uh, it's nice to be back out on the 850. Man, lots of people out. I've seen a pile of sleds like through uh, the Port Perry where the clubhouse is there. Definitely a pile of machines today. Everyone's out enjoying this absolutely beautiful bluebird day. And enjoying winter. Snow's good. The temps have been super cold. Got up this morning at Jesse's place. Uh, when we got out of bed, it was minus 32. is real cold and uh, like for the first time ever like my my toes were actually cold this morning I couldn't believe it same with rich too his uh, his fingers we had to stop for a bit just because he was his fingers were getting super cold so but now it's warmed up pretty good sun's up so uh, it's not too bad at all So we're just running through the uh, Northumberland forest and plan is to go fill up in Havelock. Can't remember if I've been there or not. If I have, it was years ago. So we're gonna get some gas in, uh, in the Havelock area there. And then head back uh, towards Jesse's cottage. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.